kid, especially in first grade, because my teacher said something to my mom on the report card. I kept saying, I can't. And fast forward, I had I was in, entered into a contest for the church things that they do. And they assigned me the song, I've Got Confidence. You can't make this stuff up. But it, the verse started with, when trouble is in my way, I can't tell the night from day. I toss from side to side like a ship on a raging tide. But I don't worry. I don't fret. God has never failed me yet. Troubles come from time to time. But that's all right. I'm not the worrying kind because I've got confidence. God is going to see me through. No matter what the case may be, I know he's going to fix it for me. I spared you. I didn't sing it. But anyway, I've got confidence. But part of the reason I have confidence, it says in Hebrews 13, 6, God saying, I'll never fail you. I'll never forsake you. I'll never forsake you. And so we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? And how do you build your confidence? Verse 7, remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Get in the word of God. Believe God is who he says he is, that he'll do what he said he'll do. I can speak. And I'm telling you, I was the I can't do it kid. I was the person that worried. Uh, I have a whole testimony about being set free from worry. If I can do it, you can do it. You can and you've got confidence. Just, Father, right now, I ask that, that those people that are stuck in worry and fret and anxiety, that they would be released from that fear right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, that they would go far into confidence in you and your ability to, to walk and never leave them, never forsake them. And, in fact, I even hear God say, remember, I've got this. He knows what you need before you even ask. And he has provision for you before the problem ever arises. He's already got the provision. And you need, and this is, this is prophetic. Look for the provision. For instance, if you need a new tire or you need a new refrigerator and you, you know, broke down, you, God knew it was going to happen. He's got the financial provision. He's got the provision. Maybe someone gives you a refrigerator or whatever. So I'd love to hear your testimonies. I'm Pastor Becky. This is Becky's Blurbs. I pastor at Transformation Church. My husband and I are the lead co-pastors. Come see us in Central Florida. Hit that bell so you know that, that we're here and, and get some more great words like this. Love you. Tell everybody and come see us. Bye-bye.